can he? He can. Yes, He's he gonna can. show you the day. This is the big finish at Lincoln Lodge. We're about to get it on the show. So come on, everybody, and get the show on the road. Let's get it on the road. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, and thanks for tuning in to the Big Finished Podcast. My name is Jamie Trenner, and I'm sitting here with my co-host. Becca Kenny. And we are so excited to have the very exciting guest on the show today. We have Ryer Cameraman in the room. Ryer, hello. How are you doing today? I'm doing so good. I'm so excited. It's fun in here. It is. It is fun in here. I love this studio. I always feel so glamour. Like, whenever I stop at the studio, I'm like... I feel like I have sunglasses and like a coffee and I'm like, oh, I'm so busy. You know what <laughs> yeah. I mean? Just so it booked, so blessed. I do feel like that's the energy of the room. I also do feel like I would like to mention the fact that I did not tell Ryer that we sing on the show at the yeah. end. I feel a little deceptive with that. I, I'm prepared. I'm excited though. I've had lots of lots of musical experience. That's good. Oh, yeah. I mostly was the characters that did not sing because I... <laughs> <laughs> but I was in the musical. Well, now's yeah. your time. Now you're now's the character you can say. Wait, wait, so what, 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 take take us on a tour. What are some of your favorite theater roles that you've been That I've done? Uh, yeah. So I was Lady in the Window on the, <laughs> in Annie. <laughs> I was Lady. I literally, my only line was I was like, hey, kids. Like I like yelled out the window. <laughs> and, that, and I was really excited, invited everybody to come. Oh, um, I love. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yes, totally. I, you know, I, I auditioned to play Annie and Annie when I was Did like you? 11. Oh, and awesome. should I have played it? Yeah, I should have. And I know the girl who played it, and, and I think she would admit, too, that I should have played it. But it would have been cool. Like a little boy, Annie. It would have been cool. Loved. It would have been so subversive for the time. It would have been pretty, pretty little, grooming. Uh, they would have been like, you, the grooming. No, but yeah. <laughs> no, that wasn't a thing yet. But um, I, I, what was I going to say? Oh, I, but I've never, I've been in Annie now a few times, and I a never few. was Annie or main character. <laughs> I one time was, Relatable. In, was in tech, and they had... So the there was a the principal was supposed to make a cameo in it, but then he had a heart attack. Gonna, no, <laughs> no. Yes, yes like, it was. was I was like do? doing tech for a middle school, and he was going to be Bundles, the laundry man. Oh, so they I were like, Bundles. they're like, why doesn't Beckett go? And I was terrible at tech. I was terrible at it. So they yeah. it made more sense to put me on stage. Yeah. And so then I I played Bundles, and then the guy who was going to play Drake the Butler got his foot ran over by a tractor. But what? that's not the problem. He was gonna go on, okay? The foot ran over by the tractor, no problem. He then got appendicitis the night oh of the God. show. Did so somebody could say, not. did somebody say the Scottish play in the theater? Somebody said the Scottish that play. That could be. Does that does that work in comedy theaters? If I said- Scottish play, I don't know what it's, that is. You don't know um, that? Mac, no. Big Mac. You're not supposed to say Macbeth. Yeah, oh. in the theater. And I just said it. So in we're gonna have to all, we're all gonna have to spin around three times and spit over our shoulders. You know I'm a superstitious. I, I feel like well, the the, the um, cord will get all. We'll do it later. Yeah. We'll do it later. But I I will say, I think with all those injuries, some some little shitty kid in your production of Annie was like, make bath, make bath, make bath, <laughs> and then they were like, oh fuck, <laughs> when everybody started dropping like flies. Or maybe like the 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 tractor Sorry. I sent to run over Annie's foot <laughs> and then the heart like the I, I wish I there was like a poison that we knew for sure would cause a heart, att heart attack that I could I love the idea yeah. that you would send it and then you would just be the, the director's next choice <laughs> <laughs> like, let me, like uh, this is 14 year old I promise you I promise <laughs> you without a doubt if Annie had left I would have gotten that part I would have done what it take if they replaced it with another girl I would have pushed that bitch down the stairs too <laughs> little do we know that Beckett was cast as uh, the role of Tina Denmark and Ruthless you uh that's a oh, reference to the musical Ruthless yes, where I do know that the little girl musical. keeps killing the what well, not keeps killing she kills one other little girl so that she can be Pippi Longstocking <gasps> and Pippi in Tahiti yeah it's a it's an obscure Broadway musical that I love but no, I mean no, I always joke because I was an Annie but I was orphan number six and so like I have this running joke that I would like hide in the pit and just sing like one step below when she did the last yeah. note of tomorrow so everybody'd be like oh flat you know, like that's, <laughs> that's. I, I also was in Annie one time before, and I played. I wasn't even one of the orphans. I was one of the street kids who, like, oh, I love in, in the song that was cut from the movie, which is "We'd Like to Thank You, Herbert Hoover." Hoover. In yeah. their, when they're in that, uh, like, the radio station, right? 
Well, that could like, be that one's like you're could... never fully oh, dressed that smile. But the the one I think Becca's thinking of is the the moment where all the people live in the shanty town and are homeless, and yeah. they're singing about how because of Herbert Hoover's politics, yeah. they are all Poor. homeless now yeah. and have nothing. Yeah. That's so hilarious. yeah, they do. They did cut that out of the movie because I think they were like, mm, let's not get political with and, that. Well, it's a musical film. Anyway, let's not. I was also in the the Sandy the the, the Sandy the dog humped me on stage. <laughs> There was a real dog. There was they a real dog, dog. <laughs> and it did. Dog. It humped me on stage, and oh then God. later it like humped Annie too. But it looked like, it, but Annie was walking away, and so it kind of looked like the dog was like walking with Annie and like doing a <laughs> dance, and like, and the audience was all like, "Wow!" And I'm like, "It's humping her." <laughs> like, like, it's literally humping her. I mean, I do want to hear Ryers. I think maybe it humped roles. me because they thought I should have been Annie. I'm, I was going to say that probably, yeah, it was it was gesturing like, oh, it's Annie. The only thing I was going to say is we had a dog when we did Legally Blonde. I played Paulette's understudy, which I'm still bitter about. But uh, I was also Elle's mom. And, man, dogs in live musicals, I feel like it's just it's just not a vibe. Mm-hmm. But the dog the weird. dog shit on the stage. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> During the, Bruiser, where's Elle? Just... <laughs> no, it's even weird. Why? It's even weirder when there's like a kid in a dog costume, though. Yeah, I've been in those, and that's oh. like I've never played the dog, but the kid in the dog costume is always really excited about it. You know what I mean? <laughs> like they think they see the role, and they're like, "Oh, John's playing Sandy," and he's really pumped. And you're like, "Dude, you're not gonna get to say anything." <laughs> <laughs> you're <laughs> like, this Wait. is pretty sad. <laughs> now I want to do like a, a a production of Annie now, where I'm like playing Annie, and I'm like, I'm an adult, and I'm doing like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Improv and, and you're Sand and you're Sandy and yeah. you're the kid because I yeah that would be funny yeah, that would be good oh, would to, be to, to they are excited about being but they're there. always they're always like pretty young I remember being really jealous of the kid that got to play Sandy yeah like I wanted that part yeah and then I realized later on I was like crying like to my mom <laughs> and my mom was like Ryer you're you you get to say words. Do you have any other parts that you're better about? I mean, obviously, yeah. you deserve to play Sandy. <laughs> There's no it about is about hilarious it. that I wanted that. <laughs> you wanted Sandy so bad. No, the what physical else did you comedy want? that could have. Mm-hmm. Oh, just I was very physical. I was um, when I, I so oh, what's the name of this play? It was like mm-hmm. King Archie and the Knights of the Rectangular Table. I think it was the name of I this. I love a parody. I mm-hmm. love a parody. I was 11 years old and I played this. Um, sorry, I keep spit this. Gr- I, I played this like dinosaur. If you spit uh, one more time, we're gonna. Have- <laughs> I know it's you, weird that I, I keep. I saying spit that. like. No, no. I don't know why I'm doing that. Anyway, I well, I played. No, it wasn't dinosaur. It was an alligator. I don't remember mm-hmm. the name of it, but I was like a or a dragon. It was one of those things, <laughs> and it was it was it was an animal. But I and I essentially like captured like a princess and I um, and I really liked my part but I wanted to be King Archie I was the same you like I always wanted to play men's roles whenever I got yes. a female's role I was mad yes that I, that's something in character assassination which is yeah. the show that Andy our last guest was on uh, runs where like we roast each other as characters at the Laugh Factory oh, that's funny. for a long time Andy didn't set, felt like it was offensive to cast me as like a woman in those <laughs> and I'm like no that is almost always the part I there's you want to be yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's very rare that I oh I'm gonna be Jaws in the roast of Steven Spielberg. Oh, that's so I fun. feel like that you'll so, kill it though. I'm, do- yeah. I'm doing the dog thing. <laughs> like Are you gonna t- get to talk? Are you gonna talk? What if I didn't talk? What if you didn't? I, talk? I haven't be- thought about it. I I haven't thought about what I'm gonna do. I was thinking, what if you? Okay, so hopefully nobody hears this before you do it. But what if you? They won't. Um, <laughs> it'll be after that. What if you? What if you didn't talk and then they're, they just played over the speakers like your thoughts? <sighs> like you just glared into the audience and it was like, hello, everyone. I could it's go. I've also thought like that I could should go maybe go to the audience and like have like the shark. You and, know like, what I enter mean? Enter like, through the aisle. Yeah. You should definitely do that. That's so funny. Yes. You were you were on a character assassination as a guest star for once. Joe Fernandez. Yeah, I played. Oh, funny enough that we're talking about Andy. I played an orphan, and I you like. Did. Yeah. Who, what? What was Joe's bit? He, who? <laughs> what? I don't even remember who he played, but I like came up and I was. Oh, it, it was some like the Will Smith thing had just happened. The slap, like the slapping oh. thing. And so I came up and I was like, "Can I have some more?" Uh, I don't remember what I was asking for, but like some yeah. joke. Oh, yeah. I was like, "Can you tell some more or something?" And then uh, I think Ken uh, came over and was like, "You, you see, he made fun of me." And then uh, Joe slapped him. Something that I don't remember fully, but it was. Fun. It was like referencing the Will Smith. Totally. Slap. Okay. I love. I. 
Yeah, I I love that the character assassinations let you do that. I hope that Ryer, you get to shine in one soon and <laughs> yeah, be a character. Yeah, yeah. I would like to be a dog. I would, no, I'd be uh, fun. I would love to do it. What if they did the roast of cartoon dogs? I keep like oh I always gosh. pitch to Andy. Keep in mind, Andy cast me in one one time because somebody <laughs> canceled last minute. You were cast in two. You you famously abandoned one. Which one did I abandon? You you, you, oh, you, yeah. you gave oh, a lot no, of I, notice, but I. You, you, and it was totally understandable, but you oh, yeah, no, were going to play my, Adele or, no, or you were going to play. I think I was going to be Baby Miss Peggy, but my, oh. my grandma passed away, so I canceled. <laughs> <laughs> I famously abandoned because my grandma famously died. Abandoned on it. record, on record, Jamie is an unprofessional trash piece of shit. <laughs> she doesn't take her, 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 her career seriously. seriously. And that's don't. why now I play Miss Peggy on the character assassination <laughs> Yeah, verse. yeah, yeah. I got, <laughs> I got the boot. I mean, honestly... I'm grateful because I think you do a better Miss Piggy voice than I do. I was watching videos, freaking out about it, and then I was like, okay, I feel like if my, gra- my grandma died, my car broke down, I'm on the verge of a mental breakdown, I cannot do this Miss Piggy voice, yeah. so I just gotta be like, Andy, I'm sorry, I, I can't, I can't do it. I wasn't, I didn't, I wasn't for sure gonna do the Miss Piggy voice, I never do voices for them typically, And but then mm-hmm. Andy was like, you have to do the Miss Piggy voice, I'm like, I'm grateful because I didn't think, <laughs> I, I didn't know for sure that yeah, I could yeah. do it, and I'm like... When it when it happened for the first time and I got it, I totally. was like, "Can you do any impressions, Ryer?" Yeah, well, I do mostly like um, people like in my life. Like I don't, I because I, in my act I do uh, like a few a few characters, but it's not like people anyone would know. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, yeah, I mean? yeah. Like I do my grandmother, I do my mom. Totally. I do, uh, like yeah. just my internal thoughts, but like in a different voice. <laughs> well, they are in a different voice for me, and and for me they're in a voice like this. It's a fire. You know, yeah. Sort of fun. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. What, Ryer? If you weren't here right now, where would you be for the Super Bowl? <laughs> where would I be? Yeah. I'm going. I'm going to a Super Bowl party. After, okay. And um, oh, hell yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, that's what. Um, but I don't know. I'm not super into that. I've never liked the Super Bowl Me a lot. Neither. Yeah, I'm not I, into it. I was saying mm-hmm. before we started, and I I would like to ask everyone now. We could go back at Ryer. Me will go in order. Um, fuck Mary Kill. <laughs> Super Bowl, the game itself, the game of football, the commercials, halftime show. Beckett, you can start. How would you? How would you? This do? is extremely easy for me. It's extremely easy. I, I, I'm, I, I'd fuck the commercials because c- I like it fast and easy. And <laughs> <laughs> That's I mean, you have to pay like millions for a minute. So, <laughs> but um, I would. Um, Marry the halftime show. I I am obsessed with the Super Bowl halftime show when women do it, and not as much when men do it. Really, but like, really. like there's so many Super Bowl halftime show moments that I recreate for myself in my head all the time. And also, I'm sorry because I do want to get. But no, th- no. So my Hunter, my partner, is a drag performer, and yeah, they yeah. do this. Sh- they do this like competition show called Charlie Survivor, where you are. Su- where one of the challenges is you have to create like a Super Bowl halftime show for an artist who hasn't done it. Oh, I love. And that. I have really thought about who I would do, and I want to do Pink. And I, <laughs> I know be so funny. I and I wanted to have like a moment where like I like leave the st- <laughs> stage for a moment, and then I bring out like a Barbie doll and a fish hook. <laughs> <laughs> like, like to just kind of spin around, Over like the she's doing, yes, yeah, for the aerials. It's pink. It's Who's do like the in the same outfit as me, and yeah. like, like, and then I do want to do my pink original song, which I did sing for them already. But okay, it goes like this: mm-hmm. <clears throat> Yeah, we're all clowns, but it's okay. We're in this tiny clown car together. <laughs> Women should do hockey and not do makeup. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd kill the game because I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I mean, Ryer. Ryer. Yes, yes. I, well, I would try to think about this. It's a hard one because they are um, all concepts and not people. But <laughs> <it's>, <laughs> but that's mm. that's where I thrive, you know. Right. Uh, no, I so probably I'd probably uh, have sex. You know, I'd probably fuck the um, the <sighs> probably the yeah, probably the game. You mm. know, because they're all kind of running away, and I I do good with like abandonment. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like when it when it comes to love, I don't want us to be together very long. I want it to be fast, uh, right. and I want people to talk over us. 
Um, right. Relatable. And then when, uh, marry, I would marry the commercials. I really like the commercials. Yeah. Um, uh, again, you don't have to commit to anything very long. Right. Um, and then <laughs> uh, kill. Yeah, I guess I would have to kill the halftime show. Wow. Um, which is interesting. You know, I, it depends. I, I like music, but when people are too into it, sometimes it freaks me out. Like, you know, when they're like... <laughs> Because <laughs> I'm like, oh, like, I'm well, like, this isn't real, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you know, and they just get so, but I love it. I love music. I love it. <laughs> Not in a negative way. <laughs> That's like, so funny. <laughs> when like, like, when people get into it too much, I'm like, this isn't real. <laughs> yeah, like, we, I, you have kids. You know? <laughs> and you're, like, naked on a, in, in a field. and <laughs> Like, you have a smoking addiction. You know, just all these yeah. things that come to mind. I'm like, this is weird. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. God, that's Who so that funny. is, Vinny? <sighs> I feel like, okay, this is going to be controversial. Well, <laughs> not really. I feel like it's probably going to be fine. Um, I I had married the Super Bowl halftime game because I just, I love La La Make Believe Land. Yeah. I love oh, it. Oh, yeah, me, yeah. Uh, the halftime show. No, I, 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 I perform to forget about my kids. <laughs> <laughs> I, none no, of you, nobody good. in this room knows this. I have seven kids <laughs> and, and I neglect them. It's okay. <laughs> so that I can perform. Isn't that crazy if you, have, you, have, you don't have kids. I, I do have one kid. Do you? <laughs> no, no, I don't have a kid. I, I, I do not have a kid. <laughs> Ryan, I was like, trying wait, to do the math like, like how that would work. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like no, I had, gay, but I, don't know. I had, I had one woman lover in in <laughs> high school who I did in, <laughs> inseminate and pregnant. Woman lover. We, 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 I then had to tell her I was gay. <laughs> no way. It was a very complicated situation. <laughs> we we won this prom together. Joke, right? okay. this is all, I'm this so is all well, well, because I had a boyfriend in high school I had, yeah. it, when I was 14 and he came out as gay and I came out as gay and we yeah. were just in a giant closet together. You know what well, I mean? that, that, is, that do be happening. The, yeah. the, it does. You know, the les and the gays pair up a lot to, oh, yeah. to keep yeah. the secret together. I, yeah, I looked like a man. He wanted a man, you know, and he, <laughs> exactly. that's what it was. And he was very feminine, and I yeah. l- wanted a woman. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, it was perfect. It's the yeah. limo out front, best of both worlds. Yeah, how to style every shoe, every color. I mean, yeah. I, th- I feel like it's like I think I already, I already said on this show before, but yeah, I had one of my. Well, I had a really, really fucked up high school boyfriend, but the other one that I had right after him, he's bisexual, I'm bisexual now, but at the time, uh, he broke up with me two months after taking me to the Britney Spears concert where he cried harder than I did when she came on stage. And that should have been the moment where I was like, no, he doesn't think she's hot. Like, he wants to be her. Like, he wants to be Britney. Like, he wants... That's so sweet. ...to be her. It was very (laughs) sweet. I loved it. Um, But yeah, so, absolutely marrying... It it sucks because... Your 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 gay high school boyfriend is gonna be your best boyfriend of all time. Yeah, that's the thing that's the <laughs> hardest for me. Um, what I feel like also I always like I always tend to uh, get attracted to like when I when I have dated women and people in the queer community. I, I'm I dated a trans man and a trans woman. I would say my experience all around is I just generally love avoidant people with commitment issues. Like mm. I love um, yeah. being the one who's like, hey, so like, are we still hanging out? And then like no reply, and I'm like. Okay, but like maybe they just like fell down a sewer. <laughs> like right, maybe they'll text right, me tomorrow right. and everything will be. And it, they never, they never. Some people uh, are text pansexual. Back. Some people are abandoned sexual. <laughs> yeah, <that's> I think. <laughs> yeah, the abandonment. I was like, I feel that. Uh, but I do think I would marry the halftime show. I think I. I think. I think I thought differently before, but now that I think about it more, I think I would fuck the game of football just because, like, I feel like that gives me power over the game of football. Like, <laughs> fuck you, football. Like, I fucked the game of football, you know? Something that almost brings me to fuck to... Uh, the Super Bowl halftime show I'm going to marry. There's, there's no doubt about it. Something that almost brings me to wanting to fuck the game of football is... There are a lot of hot guys in top tight pants. Yeah, that's yeah. well. And I was gonna say that's not even it for me. I think for me, I really wanted to say that I would kill the commercials because I can't be bought, baby. Oh, fuck you, capitalism! I can't be <laughs> bought. <That's good. laughs> but I do think the commercials are very entertaining. I think like if, if I'm act- awesome. like what I actually pay attention to, what I actually pay attention to, are you concussed? Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, I run into the curtain. Uh, but I think tonight I'll actually watch the commercials in the halftime show. The game itself, I will not know what's going on. I I cannot tell you at this point in my life. I don't know which is higher, my body count or the amount of straight men who've tried to explain football to me and mm-hmm. just eyes glaze. Like the, my eyes glaze over the way people's eyes glaze over when I try to explain the plot of Rent to them. Like it just, yeah. I don't, I just do not care to know how it works at all. It's just not for me. But yeah, that's that was that game. That was fun. You know what's yeah. a game that's fun? 
What's a fun game? I was recently at this Valentine's Day party and they like Ooh, made yeah. us like do like finish the lyrics and like there were like oh. there were three different mini games okay. that Ooh. like we won prizes for like from like Dollar Tree like it's the Dollar fun. Tree Ooh. yeah it was super fun I won two of the three I okay. one of them was <laughs> How many people were there? There were probably like close to 30. Oh, that's great. You won two out of three? Okay. <laughs> I won. I, it was It was like there was a donut tied to the string that you had to eat the fastest and you had to complete all the lyrics to like and name the artists to these songs. Okay. And I'm whenever I'm in a situation where I'm at like a, in a bar game or something, I'm extremely competitive. Yeah, and I love it too. I almost always win, and I, the, I couldn't have I couldn't have won the uh, third one because it was what What's the number under your cup? You know what I mean? I'm like, yeah. that's fuck you. <laughs> Do you are you like that at all? Uh, with I, it's weird. I think if it's like, I mean, if, I I was at a trivia thing the other day because my my friend was there. I stayed with my friend. And she's like, we're at trivia. Come meet us at trivia. And I I never go to trivia, mm-hmm. but I went there. And it was like it was essentially that there were like ten questions and all of them were like, "Hey, what's Sam's favorite song?" And I was like, "I don't know <laughs> who Sam is, let alone yeah. his yeah. favorite song." Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like oh. people in the room, and I, that was kind of fun to just guess, like what? Do you, right. Yeah, just like mm. look at people and is yeah, there try like, to gauge what? Yeah. yeah. Is Nobody, there a trivia that you know that you're like, I would slam oh. dunk this trivia specifically? Probably weirdly specific things. Probably like um uh, like t- uh, types of unicycles, <gasps> unicycle tricks. Well, p- uh, please dis- discuss the, un- the, un- the, un- the unicycle. <laughs> it is where I have. I'm a un- I'm a unicyclist. I love unicycling since I was a kid. I was like a competitive unicycle. You're kidding. It was really yeah. sad. Is um, this true? Awesome. No. Yeah, it's absolutely true. I always I I'm obsessed with cool. this. I love it. Well, that that was like what I did as a kid when I wasn't like yeah. in theater or wrestling or whatever. I was unicycling. Oh my god! In theater or wrestling or unicycling? I love but, it. The, the I love things. it so yeah. much. It's like it's all it's all a pipeline to the same thing. <laughs> Literally, it all brought me to comedy, baby. Yeah, yeah. Comedy. yeah. So do you? Can you? I I mean, obviously you. Pro- What's what do you, you do? Can in unicycle com- in Chicago, right? Competitive unicycling. Yeah. You just, well, I don't. I can't compete here. I mean, I don't think there's any groups. But in Madison, I still get like an email reminder. <laughs> they have like a bunch. There's like a community there, and so sometimes I go to Madison, but not often. Honestly, What's it judged on? Uh, well, there's different groups. There's like trials, which is jumping over things, and then there's like speed. So um, there's mountain unicycling. There's freestyle. <gasps> that one's fun. Whoa! Uh, yeah, like so, like you're doing a number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do like, like a routine. Yeah, you set up a routine. The people like dress up too, and they like do spins. It's. I mean, the, the people in the unicyclists are kind of crazy. You know. I bet. <laughs> yeah. I'm. I. Whenever I find out that there's like a secret competitive <laughs> world of something that. Oh, it's huge. That, like, and you know that the, this is the the world to these people. You know, oh. there are people who live and die by unicycling. Yeah, this is what they do all the time. Yeah. And yeah. and whenever I find out there's like a secret underground world of <laughs> that no one else gives a fuck. You zoom out. No one gives a fuck about it. But like you zoom in, and this is everything, yeah. and it, it's also probably super fun to watch. It's kind of sick. It's, yeah. and it's so difficult physically. Yeah. Like if you look up like trials unicycling or just extreme unicycling, yeah. it's the cool. I remember I saw the first video when I was maybe like ten, and it was these guys like like just doing skateboard tricks essentially with a unicycle. They were like jumping on uh, rails, and they were like jumping over giant flights of stairs, and mm-hmm. like doing like yeah. flips and weird shit. Yeah, and I was like, this is insane, and I got hooked on it because it's so right. like people just don't see it. But yeah. if you see it, you're like, this is awesome. Completely. Yeah. yeah. Completely. Well, I mean, a skateboard has four wheel. The unicycle only has a fucking one. I imagine it's like, you like you at least on the skateboard, you have the balance of two feet on a piece of wood. Like, I can't imagine how much core strength it would take to like keep yourself up on that. You know, I always really wanted to try parkour. Oh, that'd be cool. That'd be awesome. <laughs> I always, and the other thing, you know, do you, have you ever seen those jumping stilts? I have seen. Do you know what I'm talking about? Um, I want to buy those so bad. (laughs) They're like they're like stilts, but they're like also a pogo stick. Oh, they're like bouncy. Yes. Yeah. And you can do like huge flips on them. I think I have like so I was in um, dance as a kid, and we had a tap routine where they had you know like that trick where you have somebody like flip over your back and they Mm -hmm. do like a fan kick thing. Mm -hmm. So they had me do this with a girl who was like two feet taller than me and I was like I don't think this is gonna wait, end well like wait, please don't wear- make me do this and yeah. I'm wearing tap shoes so they're like slippery on the floor I'm like I, I don't feel comfortable <laughs> no. about this and they were like oh you'll be fine and I face planted and had like, a really bloody oh. nose so now I'm like afraid of like skateboarding unicycles parkour anything where oh. I like have to be airborne 
I don't even like being picked up off the ground. Jamie, this is so sad to me because I know you would be the parkour athlete. I know I would be <laughs> the parkour athlete awesome. if I just put my mind to it. But no, I. Uh, that's why I like watching it. But I am adverse to. It is scary. Anything. Yeah, I feel yeah. it. Wait, were you the one going on her back, or was she going no, on your back? No, she went on my back. I was like, oh. yeah, and she like and she was went a, a little taller. too hard, and she was taller than me, so I just was like, <laughs> like yeah, it was like, like a, a giraffe on the ice where they're like legs. Bleh. I don't know why it's, I think it's a deer, not a giraffe. But yeah, like like an animal on the ice, and they're like spread, like, and they like no, face points. Let's just make it a giraffe, because <laughs> that's better. actually funnier. Yeah, I, like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> giraffes are so fucking insane. They're weird. Sometimes I'm like those exist like those are real like what yeah. random ass i don't know uh, you can see them they're accessible too which is I weird know. like i mean they're in the zoos and so you're like if i wanted to i could see a giraffe today yeah. if what, i really wanted what's to. what's so crazy too is like i think about the time like now we see images of these like animals all the time but like like 160 years ago like people didn't see like pictures like they might have seen paintings of like lions and yeah. stuff but like Imagine how like crazy it would be to like see like a giraffe for the first time if you're like from England. Wow. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like wouldn't that be psycho? Yeah, you're like, what am I looking at? Yeah. As like an adult. I guess because like kids freak out over it. Like they're like yeah. so excited. Yeah. Like, that's probably just an adult version. It's like a, Yeah. They're like, wow. I think I'm gonna purposely make it so my kid won't see a giraffe <laughs> until <laughs> that is so I'm gonna shelter my kid from giraffe. I'm gonna like literally lock them in a yeah. room and be like I'm be like, you're gonna be so freaked out when you finally see one though. <laughs> I feel like I I mean I like I don't remember what it was like when I first saw him, but I know that like because like a nanny, I had to take these kids to this pumpkin patch where it was like they had a like, they had a thing where you like walk up the staircase and you're like at eye level with the giraffe's head and you feed it carrots. Yes. And I was like, this should be illegal. Like the head is giant. <laughs> I had a always, pumpkin patch. Yeah. <laughs> Why well, a Why pumpkin patch? I always <laughs> feel guilty when I go to the, go to the zoo a little bit. I oh, always I have it. like a moment of being like, I'm like this is fun and I'm glad to see these animals, but also I'm like. This seems sad a little bit, you know? I was going to say, the yeah. only reason that I get on board with it is, in a, it's not every zoo. Some zoos are it's not every, doing good. Yeah. But some zoos, it really is like those animals are there for conservation's sake. Like right. the, the species dying out and they wouldn't survive in the Completely. water. All these things. But it is like, I wish more zoos would be like, like the San Diego Zoo, for example, is one of the best in terms of just like space, um, temperature, like overall quality of life. Right. It's very much matches the natural habitats they would be in i wish more zoos match that because it's like especially where i grew up in indiana you can totally drive and find like a roadside tiger right, show and, and they're in so like bad. a four by four uh and it's just gross it's just really upsetting um because yeah it's, it really just comes down to like because it's a state-by-state -state policy like i mean we all watched tiger king when we were locked in the house like yeah. y y you can get away with more cruel conditions depending on the laws in the state so it's like as long as you're at a zoo in a state that has good advocacy. That's not really funny. It's just, I, I get sad with zoos no, too, I so mean, I've looked into it, but. No, no, zoos aren't funny. Zoos aren't funny. They're <laughs> serious. There's nothing funny about zoos. There's nothing funny about zoos. There's nothing <laughs> funny about giraffes. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny? Yeah, there's like, like certain certain people say, yeah, there's nothing funny about sex. <laughs> it's like, yeah, there's a lot of funny stuff. When people, I, stuff. I get mad when people get like annoyed about about like a to you t you joking about a topic yeah, yeah. do you know what yeah. i mean because i'm like listen to the content of what i'm saying about the topic and like like do you really think i'm making fun of like the people in the or do you or am i just talking about a topic yeah, you know yeah, what i yeah, mean yeah, yeah do you get do you ha yeah. have do you get like people like being offended by your material ever or? yeah yeah i do i mean it's weird like i think it's uh it's people like i can get away with more because i I look so gay, you know? Yeah, like in definitely. A, in a good way. Just like talking about, like, yeah. I can talk about sexuality more. Um, but, like, whenever I do, um, I don't know, like, transgender stuff and stuff like that, that doesn't work as well because I think people are confused. Mm -hmm. Or, like, mm -hmm. uh, I was in special ed, so I talk about being in special ed. Right. And that uh, can go wrong stuff. But I don't know. I think it's all, like, development, too. But, like, over time, right. it'll get mm -hmm. easier when I learn how to do it better. I don't know. That's Yeah, that is true. That's I, I've been working for years to make like my jokes about being molested bulletproof yeah, <laughs> so hard. Hard. it is so hard because yeah. people will shut down immediately as when you start you talking about it yeah oh, yeah that and word. and um 
the thing is, I know the jokes are funny because they. E- what happens is they either murder or yeah. they get like people are won't laugh at all. Absolutely, and yeah. it's never like a uh, people are kind of g- like giggling. You know what I mean? It's always so. I know the jokes are funny, but I know people are just too uncomfortable. And it's like, how do you bridge that gap? I think part of the problem too is like when you're doing stand up, like in the city, like it's like so many ten minutes that it's like yeah. People, if you're doing an hour long show, people are more comfortable well, like on board. Yeah. yeah, yeah, getting into like the nitty gritty. I think that I I honestly think that it's like your your molestation jokes are bulletproof. They're very funny, but I think that they are probably like. They're a joke that you would make at the 35, 40 minute mark. Right. Yeah. Because by then everyone's on your side and it's okay for you to talk about. Because it's really like it, those jokes are at the heart of what you're trying to say. They're mm-hmm. important. They can't yeah. go away. They yeah. have to be there. It's just like because it's like I almost think of like if, a, if an hour of stand up is like if it was taking the tour of this person's body. It's like you start on the outside and you go in through the <laughs> eye. A and tour you go of my down. body? Yeah, but it's like... <laughs> oh, but okay, you actually you're, were using the actual oh, body. Yeah. I thought you were talking about like a <laughs> body of my work. Okay. No, oh, but that's yeah, oh that, is, that is a double entendre. But I say no, like it's like, it's it's almost like it's like it it starts just like very broad, like general, like outside. And like yeah. that mo- the oh. molestation jokes are like are at the heart of yeah. you. Yeah. And then you almost like by the end of the 45 minutes, we spit you back out and you're back yeah. to... yeah. yeah. Now yeah, that's that's a really you interesting know me. way to think it's about it. That's a good it. analogy, yeah. It yeah. is a good analogy. What's the longest time you've done, Araya? I did uh, I did 30 when I was like two months into comedy. <laughs> and it was horrible. I love, People, I love uh, somebody again. somebody said to me like they're like they're like if you're two months into comedy you should and somebody asks you to do 30 months you should I'm like <laughs> should you said, should no you <laughs> should know. I think I, you should I, always say yes and just eat shit. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's I, mean, I think it's I mean, always I best shit, to just. <laughs> I ate shit. I ate a lot of shit. Honey, it was, yeah. But I, I, I've done 30 since then. It's been better. But it's yeah. also right. like, um, I'm, a, I'm a year and a half in. So yeah. I also oh, like yeah. A, Oh, yeah, you're super new. Yeah, yeah it's, but mostly it's yeah, 15 to 20. is like mm-hmm. the longer that I'll go now. 25 is like America. a feature. I do feel like it is like when people give you opportunities, you got to say yes and eat shit. Like it is absolutely like. That's how I to, feel. Yeah. I feel it's Learning best experience. to. Yeah. I also think that like honestly, you, like doing 30 minutes Mm-hmm. To me, I don't think doing ten, three different ten minutes. I think that's a completely different thing than no. Doing you can 30 do minutes. thirty minutes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I guess you. Well, even if you're not repeating, yeah. I guess it's keeping people's attention for yes. for that long yeah. is very hard. And it's yeah. like a different build too, and like how you yeah. like go about it, like. Because in ten minutes you can go hard pretty quickly. I, mm-hmm. or, and in terms of like energy and. And, yeah. and all that jazz. Um. I mean, I, I just think, like, just, you know, having done, I mean, I wouldn't say that I'm regularly headlining, but I'd say probably, like, two or three times a month I'm going out of town and doing 45 minutes to an hour. Like, all of my darker jokes, like, probably my darkest jokes are, like, me being groomed by a cop. And <laughs> so, yeah. that's just, I mean, that's, that's the main thing of the joke. Yeah. Being groomed by a cop. It, you and know, it's, it's, it, a lot of the times it's, it's not the drag queens, it's the cops. <laughs> it's <laughs> the like, cops, baby. If we're, if we're going into grooming. But the grooming, it's <laughs> the police. Officer. Yeah, I do that. And I do, I have a joke about being roofied. And oh. like, those are like not 10 minute set jokes. But like, I found when I do 45 minutes to an hour, I can kind of like weave them in to where I like sucker punch you yeah. with those. And then I take you back with a song. Cause it's like, awesome. yeah, I can take you back with something else, but it's like, they are at the heart of what I'm trying to say. And it's right. important for me to talk about because it's like a huge part of what I talk about is my experience with like mistreatment from cis straight white men. And it's like, yeah. I can't, really get to like my bottom line without including those jokes and so i think it's like i don't do them in the city really but it's because i don't have enough time and so i feel like the molestation jokes like they're killing when they kill because they're fucking funny right, and i think it's right. like when you have the advantage to do 30 minutes or more you can do them right. and it will not be a problem right like the tepid is i think it's just because it's like you have such a short time and people are like Definitely. oh i'm so not hard. i'm not ready for that yeah like they're not well i wasn't either yeah <laughs> 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 oh, relatable content. Hashtag relatable content. Relatable content, baby. Oh, oh my What's God. the longest you guys have done? I've the longest I've done. I think is also thirty. I, I've never done. I've never gotten the opportunity to do forty-five. I would do it in a I, second. I was but like, I've I mean, done thirty a few times, but not that often. Awesome. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I need to go on the road more. I was gonna say I've I done do forty. Too. I've done forty-five to an hour, but it's mainly been out of town i would say i haven't done an hour in chicago yet i'm know. not gonna do it until i'm doing i feel you know because i'm yes. you're gonna host it but on may 4th i'm recording my first album wow which that's i'm really awesome. excited yeah it'll be Congrats. really cool that's great um 
and so yeah i'm like right now i'm kind of trying to since it's like two months away i'm trying to um get, pick up as many opportunities as i can to run my hour but like i was in i went back to sheboygan yesterday and <laughs> i did my hour and it worked really well and i was like really pleased was it the same venue it was the same venue the same no vomit in the glass this time <laughs> Wait, last no we, went to, we went to sheboygan <laughs> with with jackie and and jenna and um oh, really? and <laughs> during jamie's set this girl <laughs> was so fucking was drunk so fucked up she was kind of like also the one of the driving audience members because she like she was the lifeblood of the show she she oh. was like talking during the show but all, but in like a fun way kind of oh was she oh yeah i know what you mean she was like, like being exciting and people kind of liked it yes yeah there's such a fine line between yeah. like being like what sucks is like so many hecklers are just trying to be a part of the show. And yeah, they, yeah, yeah. Which makes it hard to be like, shut up. Yeah, <laughs> but they're, they're not mean. They're no, just, they're just joyful and yeah. But um, this girl in the middle, of Jamie sat all of a sudden, like you just see her in her cup throw up. Oh my god! <laughs> 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 and then everybody, the mood of the room just changed yeah. to we gotta go, and so yeah. I was just like, okay, and and I just went into like my last three jokes and was like, thanks, bye, and I like was just so fucking sad because i like it was like i ripped my pants i went on stage i got 10 good minutes and then just was bombing because a girl puked in a glass and mm -hmm. everybody was like we want to go home there's vomit next to us <laughs> tales oh. all this time. yeah and uh, tales, tales all, this time. all this time baby <laughs> Wait, so, she, yeah. didn't, she didn't go and like throw it out or something no this she just this sat there holding the vomit. i think she oh. came back from the bathroom maybe oh my god she she threw up in the cup left the vomit cup there went to the bathroom came back from the bathroom and just was like i'm sorry and i was like <laughs> i please i said baby it's okay but yeah and so i mean basically i went back to Sheboygan. i went I brought Alexa Yeager to open for me this time, specifically because her mom's birthday was today. And so it was really nice because we got cute. to go take her mommy out for her birthday Aww. as well, Aww, which cute. was nice. But um, no, yeah, this time, unfortunately, the queen of the puking in the glass did not return. She was not there this time around. Not my girl. But I will say my my favorite reaction from after the show is this man who is like maybe a little older than my dad walked with me. He's like, so what's gonna, when's it going to happen? <laughs> <laughs> like, that was, like, instead of like, you did a great job or like, can I see your merch? Just like. So when's it gonna happen? I was just like, okay, I I love that sentiment, but I like don't even know what you mean by it. Yeah, <laughs> and like <laughs> what it's mean? happening right now. Like this is part yeah. of the process, but yeah, I love. So That's when's true. it gonna happen? It's happening right now. It's That's all awesome. happening right here, right now. Welcome to the Super Bowl, baby. No, right. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I feel like what's the craziest shit that's happened to you on stage so far so a year and a half in then you're gonna compare it to like oh, three years later <laughs> oh, yeah that'll be fun let me see uh, I um, I did a show once where I was uh, it was it was in a bar it was on the like I, what do they call it like Blackout Wednesday Black Wednesday yes. like oh, right before yeah. Thanksgiving yes and it was there were probably I'm not excited probably like 200 people in this bar mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. a, it was a giant bar and it was e everything that should not be for comedy it was long and narrow and oh, there yeah. was like it was it was mixed with music so there Ooh. was like a band yeah. playing and every time the band would get off people would boo aggressively <sighs> and so i got on and i was like i think the person they, they overbooked the show too so of course this is there were like 10 people i was like the ninth person oh, no. and again i yeah it was a, not a good position for me because i was again i was like four months in mm -hmm. like yeah we're just gonna have you go le almost last and i like went up and um and i and nobody was listening at all and i was doing i used to do this joke um about like being on a dating app and somebody telling me um like to to get on a train to hell and like <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a great joke but it was like, yeah. and then um so everybody was talking and i just started i was like you guys well you guys should get on a train to hell you <laughs> 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 it, that was like my version of saying like fuck you <laughs> but i felt too bad and i was like i you should go to hell on a train <laughs> and you should get on. I just like started doing that. Yeah. <laughs> just like, like, there should be no conductor and, and it's going to crash. <laughs> and it was that kind of got a laugh, which was funny. <laughs> I swear to God, that was like the main, that was like yeah. the main laugh of the set. Speaking of, of train disasters, have, have you guys seen what's happening in East Palestine? Oh, God. In no, Ohio? I haven't. Which, you think East Palestine, you, you hear yeah, East Palestine, you do not expect <laughs> it to be in no. Ohio. Yeah, I was confused. There was, a, there was like a train with dangerous chemicals that uh, was um, went off the 
tracks in Ohio oh. now people's like animals are dying oh because God. there's a huge like cloud and it's kind of being people think that it's being kind of like pushed under the rug by the media in some ways it's like a chemical explosion well it right? also it has to do with you remember the the rail the railroad workers who were striking a while ago and trying to renegotiate their rights and stuff. Do you guys? So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, that was part of it was like the safety regulations and the safe and, and, you know, Congress ended up really fucking over the rail workers um, in terms of safety regulations and this, that would have prevented this. So now it really looks shitty. Shitty on but, Congress to Because not, it, yeah. and it, oh. it's really bad. The chemicals are really bad. And I think, you know, it's just, make, it's a sad, terrible thing. Oh, no, it's a sad, terrible thing that could have been prevented. And mm -hmm. honestly, it'll probably lead to, if it's a chemical spill, anybody within a radius of that spill is going to have oh to God. move. Evacuate. And then they, yeah, yeah. Like, they, they had to evacuate, but they're, 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 I, I don't know exactly what the, the plan is because I, I think a lot of, um, I don't know. I don't know where it's going to oh go, but it, it's, 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 it's a crazy story. That is crazy. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. So, but I think they should all go on a train down. I was going to say, so <laughs> yeah, speaking, of, speaking of trains, here's a number from Starlight Express. <laughs> chugga, 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 chugga. God. That was, no, I liked it, though. I liked that we went into <laughs> some yeah. serious. Well, I loved, I, I do love to, I love to kind of, I'll be like, poopy butt. And then I'll turn around and be like, if we really look at the sociopolitical yeah. The, yeah. the <laughs> constipation is a real issue. Constipation I, I, is a real <laughs> issue. Some people can't even can't get relate. the train out of the tunnel. I mean, <laughs> oh, honestly, oh, for me, it's the opposite. But <laughs> that's being an old bitch. What? <laughs> I was my way of saying that. I have diarrhea. <laughs> I have diarrhea. It's because I drink uh, more iced coffee than water. That's why. That's I don't why know what's going diarrhea. on down there in my in my <laughs> in my like in my bowels, but it's not right. I can tell you that. <laughs> It is God. not right. I do think I've. This is gross. This is so gross, but I'm gonna say it. I've. Brave. <laughs> I know there's something wrong because I have <laughs> shit a litmus test before, and by that I mean maybe I've said this on the podcast before. Unfortunately, <laughs> I once pooped. This was one singular poop. This was not several <laughs> poops. And the poop started out as those little pebbles, those little hard, like dry pebbles. And then it turned into like those pebbles together as one solid log. And then it turned into like a cracked dry shit. And then it turned into like a normal healthy shit. And then it, the edges started to get a little ragged and it turned like into like basically loose stool. Like it literally was everything your shit could be. I was every shit texture in one. And I'm like, this is not normal. This is not not okay if, if, if why is it not why i mean if i was dehydrated it was the pebbles that'd be one thing if i was if it was just diarrhea that'd be one thing why is it every poop texture in one why can i hold up like other poops to see where i'm at on the scale next to this one poop that isn't okay that isn't normal that isn't i don't you know so i don't know what's going on down there i also i think this may have been a, a, an adam sandler joke no, I'm. This is too gross. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I just honestly thank you for sharing that. I feel <laughs> so much better about myself. <laughs> I feel like because my situation is just like sometimes it just is like a peeing out of my bottle. Yeah, <laughs> which sometimes is disgusting, too. But, I'll be. Yeah, I, I got a bidet. I don't know. Which I will advocate hard for bidets till the day I till the bidet I die. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I, and oh, um. I I don't want to say this because I'm a bottom, to be honest. <laughs> and and I one part of me wants my butt to be like a sacred sexual place, that, but the other part of me is struggling down there constantly, <laughs> constantly struggling down there. And I, I feel like you have normal poops from the reaction. No, no, I just I was just thinking. <laughs> no, 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 no. They no, are no. crazy. <laughs> no, no, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> it was weird how I responded. To that. No, I was just saying, my typically yes. Typically, I'm also. I mean, I'm. I don't know. I think pretty it'll regular. come. Yeah, pretty regular. I uh, I do have other, I have lots of other issues. Yeah, so I think that's just let's one. list them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everyone, uh, let's just go around and say one terrible secret we've done. <laughs> I'm trying to think of something. I've done recently that's fucked up. I'm, I mean, I've done some fucked up things, but I'm like recently. What's like most clear in my mind the most 
<laughs> have you stolen anything recently? i feel not recently no i used to shop with like a motherfucker i remember i had the the most uh i was like this is probably the last thing and then we might have started song i was gonna say the most um embarrassing for me was that my friend katie and i were shoplifting from Coles while her mom was at Coles with us and it was my idea <laughs> and then katie's mom <laughs> caught her and yelled at her the entire car ride oh, to take me man. back home that I that that I, Katie was such a bad influence on me oh. and that I was such a nice girl and she was dragging me into her shit and I was like fuck did Katie I'm cover for you yeah Katie covered good for girl me. good was friend Katie's the shit no she never was mad at me and I was like you should have been mad at me because I was my idea she's like yeah but I wanted to do it yeah. and I was like honestly oh. I, I stand that she's like I chose to do it so I can't be mad at you because I also chose to do you, it you gotta if you're going into shoplifting with somebody you gotta like we're in a, we're Bonnie and Clyde baby yeah, like absolutely. we're going down together absolutely um, I if you're broke you can shoplift a little bit i think <laughs> i 100 percent when when i'm broke i do be shopping i have enough money now to be okay if i get broke again i'm i'm, I'm, I'm taking things again i, I think i i my, my thing okay my thing that i do so big do, corporations obviously yeah i was gonna say my thing that i do is like if i'm at the grocery store and i scan the bread and i scan the bread and it's i scan so the bread and the bread's not scanning this is just my bread now yeah like if i scan three times and it's not scanning like it wasn't meant to be. Yeah. It wasn't meant to. Yeah. The universe gave me the bread. They don't I've want to charge you for the bread. Yeah. They don't yeah. want. They don't want you to pay for that. I scanned it three times, <laughs> and I, the lady didn't come yell at me. So I'm taking yeah. it. I'm taking the bread. You ever shoplifted a dryer? Yeah. I know. Yeah. I, it used to. I used to be really bad. Uh, recently, yeah, it's kind of become like a. I just haven't had a mu- had a lot. Of, I haven't had much money for a while, so mm-hmm. now it'll be like, a, oh, the skater rate's on the bottom of the cart. Ah, oh, too far. Yeah, you know, <laughs> like, <laughs> the, oops. When yeah. you don't have a lot of money, I think you you can shoplift a little bit, especially for the big. I mean, I mean, it's, it's not, not good. I shouldn't. <laughs> it's not good, but like as a little, just as a treat. On record, <laughs> it's not bad to steal from Walgreens. I mean, maybe for the, the employee. <laughs> 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 Maybe for the employees, but <laughs> I, if, if, if it's at a point where the employees are going to get in trouble, that's. The, but I don't give a yeah. fuck about taking from the big corporation, and also they they do expect some shoplifting. Yeah, I will so. say I like. So we have to do it. Yeah, I'm actually encouraging everyone to shoplift. Now. Because I was gonna say I think my most recent shoplift was actually on accident because I was like was holding. Um, like I picked up my prescription from Walgreens and I was holding a thing of fake eyelashes with the intention of buying them and I was walking around talking to my friend on the phone and then like I had paced around the store so many times that I just was like time to go and then I got in my car and I got home and I was like fuck I never bought these eyelashes I just walked out with them and that was I felt I felt really bad I told my dad I'm like do I go back and pay for them he's like no (laughs) like just next time pay for them but this time don't make it weird like you already (laughs) walked out Don't make it weird. The last time I shoplifted, I shoplifted at a CVS that I'm like, this is out of the way. I know I'm not going to come back here. And it was for um, Men's Row Game. (laughs) That's... Was it expensive? That's special. They're so expensive. Yeah, I it's like it. it's like sixty dollars, and at the time oh, I was working sixty dollars. It was like six. I ha- I was working a minimum wage job, yeah. and it's like if you stop doing it, then your hair's gonna like fall out even worse. And oh, I'm like, no. I'm like, I'm like. I've got to do. I felt. I felt like Aladdin. Yeah, <laughs> it's like the, the bread. You needed. You need. This is the money except maker. Aladdin, except the Aladdin bread. had a better hairline. So. <laughs> oh God. Oh my God. But yeah. I but think, yeah. But now I, I haven't shoplifted in a long time because I, yeah. I I have enough money to to pay for things right now. Although yeah. I'm getting laid off this next quarter. Anyway. Where, where do you work? I work. Oh, you don't have to say where. I'm I am. I'm nervous. Do do? I I work at a like a startup. Oh, that's and but. Basically, during um, God, I hope not. Basically, no, like when I when I when I we might end up, I might end up having them cut this, but basically when I started, it was like we were we were making so much money, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna be rich forever. And then 25 percent of the company got laid off, and then <sighs> in like our last like big company meeting, the CEO said, "This year is gonna be hard, and if you guys don't want to stick around for that, I understand." Which I was like, oh no. That does yeah, not sound good. Not sounding good. <laughs> not sounding great. Not sounding awesome. Yeah. Um, so, and I'm just gonna add a little because in case yeah you want to cut that um, right. So right, that's, right. But yeah, I think that um when it comes to shoplifting, that's definitely not the worst thing that I've done, but that's one of the worst things that I've done. And I yeah, I I, I just I think as long as you you're trying to be better, I I think. To quote Matilda the musical, sometimes you have to be a little bit naughty. Yeah. Like sometimes you have, like <laughs> you, the means of your situation requires it. But um, 
I think it might be time to, to do the song after all that. After all, I can't done. believe I can't believe I told everyone to shoplift and, and also <laughs> talked about how violently <laughs> gross my shits are. <laughs> uh, I can't Very believe revealing. it, and I love it. I love I'm it. F- I'm fully giving psycho energy on that. Okay, okay, yeah, <laughs> let's do this. Let's do the song. Let's sing this goddamn song. <laughs> It's okay to shoplift. It's okay to shoplift. If you're gay. It's okay to shoplift. It's okay to shoplift. If If you're you're gay. gay. It's okay to shoplift. It's okay to shoplift. If you're gay. It's okay to shoplift. Shoplift. It's okay to shoplift if you're gay. If you are a queer, then you can steer and steal a little bit from a big corporation. Steal stuff from you all of the time by lobbying against your rights. So take a little lipstick if you want to look good. Take a little candy from my hood. (laughs) Take a little something you earned it to. Today. It's a self-checkout that means you can choose when to pay. It's okay to shoplift. It's okay to shoplift if you're gay. It's okay to be yourself. Steal a little bit of stuff from the shelf. Hey, you know you're doing good when you've got a... It's okay to shoplift if you're gay. Okay. 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 But you may face some repercussions because apparently the corporations don't agree with this. So results may vary. If you shoplift, you may go to jail. So don't blame us, but it's okay okay to to shoplift. Everybody, it's It's okay okay to shoplift if you're gay. It's okay to shoplift. Come on now. It's It's okay okay to shoplift if you're gay. It's okay to shoplift. Not trans. Not straight. It's okay to shoplift if you're gay. Gay, 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 gay. Homosexual gay. Butt stuff is shoplifting. And so is mouth stuff. (laughs) (laughs) Well, we've done it again. Another hit here at the (laughs) big... (laughs) <laughs> again results may vary uh you cannot hold this legally liable yes <laughs> once again shoplift. disclaimer everything we're saying is a joke yeah, never it's funny. never okay to shoplift the <laughs> ceo of walgreens needs your money yes right? even if you're gay even because <laughs> how else especially if you're gay that's why they they put rainbows on things in june no <laughs> in june only how else are they supposed to afford a fifth summer home exactly if you take the two dollar lipstick you fucking it's, it's, bitch but with that being said we will 100 take us take a sponsorship from walgreens, walgreens yeah. we're we're hypocrites or cvs um, because we have no loyalty to either of you right once whichever again whichever one yeah yeah we'll third, do both. Third, yeah or yeah we'll do both and <laughs> i don't yeah but it's bisexual it's it's bisexual pride <laughs> walgreens and cvs yeah <laughs> Okay. Um, well, Ryer, well, thank you where so much. can the yeah? I was gonna say thank you for for Jesus. joining us. And where where can the people find you? Yeah, I had so much fun. Thank you. Uh, so on Instagram, I'm Ryer underscore cameraman. Can you spell that for yeah. people? R- or, and we'll do it in the description too. So yeah, no, it's super weird. I know. It's R E I E R underscore C A M M E R M A N, and I'm mm-hmm. that on all the platforms of Facebook. And I post about shows and yes, yeah. and do some clip and um. D- does your name ever like ha- the cameraman and cameraman? Does that ever intersect? Yeah. A lot of people talk. Yeah, I mean, I think it's kind of yeah. funny. It's kind of random. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, I accidentally called Ryer Rear for about twenty five minutes the last time we ran into each other. I America. would let it go. Yeah, it doesn't bother me. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like that better. Well, thank you, Ryder, for joining us. Thank, thank, you. thank you, you to the Lincoln Lodge and our wonderful producer, Christine. Christine and our wonderful accompanist, Becca. 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 Uh, this has been The Big Finish, and we will see you next week. Bye. 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 
This is the big finish at Lincoln Lodge. We're about to get it on the show. So come on, get everybody and get the show on the road. Let's get it on the road.